Today's skill builder is about addition and subtraction patterns. Addition and subtraction patterns are a sequence of repeating numbers. There are many different tools to help find patterns of numbers. Here is a number grid. The green squares represent the pattern being created. A pattern follows a rule. The rule tells us what to do to find the next value in the pattern. The pattern starts at the number 20. To determine the rule, I find the difference between 20 and 18. I count 1, 2. There is a difference of 2. The numbers are decreasing in this pattern, so the rule to follow is minus 2. To find the next number in the pattern, I must apply the rule minus 2. I start at the last number in the pattern 14 and subtract 2. I land on the number 12. The next number in the pattern is 12. Patterns can also be represented on a number line. To find the rule of the pattern, we need to determine the value of one hop. On this number line, the arrow hops over one space. The numbers are increasing, so the rule is plus one. To find the next number in the pattern, we need to apply the rule. We start at two and add one. The next number in the pattern is three. Patterns can also be represented with money. Here is a group of coins. I am going to find the value of each of the groups of coins. Group one is one cent, the second group is worth two cents, and the third group is worth three cents. To determine the rule, I find the difference between group one and group two. Group two has one more than group one, and group three has one more than group two. The rule is to add one. Following the rule of the pattern, we should be able to determine the value of group 4's coins. We need to add 1 to group 3 for a total of 4 cents. Once we know the rule, we can use it to continue on any pattern. Last tool for today. Here is a table showing the ages of two girls. First, we start by determining the rule. I want to determine how many years older Pam is than Jane. I need to add 1 to Jane's age to get Pam's age. Let's make sure we are correct by checking the second row. I add 1 to 5 and it equals 6. That is correct. The rule is to add 1 to Jane's age to get Pam's age. Now, let's put the rule to use. How old will Pam be when Jane is 10? The rule tells us to add 1 to Jane's age to get Pam's age. 10 plus 1 equals 11. Patterns are all around us. Start by finding the rule of the pattern and apply the rule to extend the pattern. Good luck!